Greetings gamers and welcome to another World of Warcraft leveling guide and the tip of the day today says that if a quest is marked failed uh, you can always pick it up again from the original quest giver. That's fairly straightforward, I don't think it needs any more explanation. We don't have much in the way of failed quests to be honest. Um, so it's difficult to demonstrate that one. To, to fail a quest you'd either need to allow the escort that you're escorting to die during an escort quest or you'd have to run out of time on a timed quest and both of those tend to be quite rare quests but if I get any I might try to deliberately fail one just to show you how it works. Okay, so we had a fair bit of money from that uh, auction house today. That was much better than yesterday. We still had some returned items, so I'm going to pop these on the auction house real quick. Let's see what sort of prices I can get for them. Wow, Star Moss is selling for nothing, isn't it? 75 silver. Now would be a really good time to level up your crafting professions. Uh, let's put that on for 75 gold, why not? See if that sells. Ooh. Tempted to put it on for that amount, but I don't think it'll sell. Well, I think if people aren't buying them for this cheap, then they just don't want them. I don't think this is a case of people can't afford it. I think this is a case of people just don't want them. Shields are usually worth a lot, but... If it can't sell for 50 gold, I don't know what I can do. If I can't sell a shield for 50 gold, I'm not going to sell that for 100. I'd only get a few silver for it if I've ended it, so it's worth trying to get something for it. The deposit's only 34 silver, so... Alright, well if they're not going to buy it for that much, they're not going to buy it at all. Okay, I think we've actually done everything that we wanted to do. So it's just Hearthstone and start adventuring. Alright, so the question is, what quest do I want to do now? Um, let's have a look at my quest log. What have we got to do? What about the Tortolan? Oh gosh, over in Stormsong Valley. That's a long way to go. I don't really want to open up the Stormsong Valley at the moment. Let's think. How about that pollen thing with the bees? That looks like it's over in Drustvar, almost. Ok. 
So, Angle Point Wharf. That's a possibility. I've just got to fly to the Norwington Estate. So it does look like there's a quest, Dangerous Cargo. That's over in Drustvar. The Roughneck Camp is a closer flight path, and I believe I had a quest for the Roughnecks. Yes, there's the quest for the Roughnecks. I think I'll do the Roughnecks. Okay, so let's go fly over to Norwington Estate, and then uh, ride up to the Roughneck Camp doing my usual getting distracted by every mineral, herb and fishing school that Ahoy. I come across. Yeah, there's no closer flight path than Norway's in estate. And that sound tells me that other players can attack me again if I run into a horde, which thankfully I haven't. I do find it interesting that nobody has attacked me in all these days. I, I imagined that it would there wouldn't be very many people here because it is the previous expansion and everyone's moved on to Shadowlands, but I'm surprised that there is just nobody here. So, given that there's so many herbs, so many fishing schools, so many minerals, there's no gold farmers here, there's no... Uh, enemies here trying to uh, pick off uh, vulnerable players like myself. It does make me wonder if maybe there's some sharding going on because of the, the leveling experience to protect me from um, what I would call griefers or bullies which is high level um, players that are basically rubbish at PvP against people their own level. So they hang around bullying low-level people in order to feel like they're good players, even though they're not. But yes, this is interesting that nobody's attacking me, even though I could be attacked at any moment from any direction, including above, because some people can fly. Oh, well. All right, let's go find the Roughneck Camp, but first... A few minerals and herbs. Oh, there's some river bud down there. have a target.
And that's Ding level 31, which opens up the dungeon The Motherlode and Toldagor, which are both dungeons. So, might end up having to do them at some point, or might not. We shall see how the levelling experience goes. We already did a, a, a test dungeon anyway, to show you what a dungeon looks like on the inside. We've got a couple more yellow dots on my mini-map up here. That looks like a, a mineral vein, and it is.
I'm out of range. I need to target something first. Okay, so after all those distractions, we made it to the Roughneck Camp. So, first order of business is to find the Flight Master. They're usually up somewhere, but in this case they're not. Awesome. Now I can easily get back here if I need to. Wanted. The Hornet. That's it. I'm putting a bounty on that blasted hornet. Every time I try to do some good old-fashioned bare-handed fishing, that son of a bear comes after me. Somebody take that bug down. Kill the hornet. Suggested players three, so it's going to be tricky. Ahoy! Get on with it. The Roughnecks. Here for the job, are ye? Well, buckle up, house cat. It gets rough from here on out. Hold still. If you want to be a roughneck, you're going to have to pass a few trials. Every one of us has done them, so I don't want to hear any whining. Take these clippers and get me some goat fur. You have to clip them while they're alive, because them's the rules. Oh, and cover your bits when you do it. They like to kick. Use the goat shears on six gentle goats. The bears and the bees. Hey, while you're out, would you grab some honey for me and the boys? Plenty of hives out in the woods, but I'd be careful if you don't want to dirty your delicate house cat hands. Bears out here tend to get pretty vicious when they smell honey. Kill eight scruff hide bears and gather six sticky bee honey from nearby beehives. Storm's coming. I can feel it in the waters.
Okay, no reason for me to want to go in this house. I'm just nosy. Fire. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So, we want bears and bees. And we want... What do we want? Oh, shaving the goats, don't we? So we shave some goats, we get some honey, and we get some bees, and we get distracted by every mineral deposit, herb, and fishing school we come up with. Oh, there's a goat. Let's have that. That was easy. And there's a bear. Okay, I wasn't in combat, but for some reason, when I tried to click on the goat, it attacked the goat. I noticed at the very last second I had the wrong person. It should have been a hand and it was a sword. So I didn't get credit for that. Still, I got some experience and that can't be sniffed at. I need a target. Get something first.
Now oh, that reminds me, I wanted to check the price of fish on the auction house. I'll have to try and remember to do that at the end of today. And um, that's the bears done. Still going to need some uh, honey, I think, though. And I definitely need some goat fur. Speaking of goat fur... Now, as I recall, I wanted to try and tame a bear to see if it was a tanking pet, so it could have a tanking pet. But, I've already got three pets with me, and I keep forgetting to stable a pet when I get back to the, uh, Boralis. Oh, cool. Yeah, Boralis is the city. So, I must remember to stable my pet. Honey, honey's nice.
That's weird. There was a couple of bees there guarding nothing by the looks of it. Would have expected there to have been some honey there. Oh well, not to worry. There's a goat here. I'll take the goat. And that's six of six goats. So now all I need is some honey, I believe. Now is it worth taking out that rare spawn? I've not had any good luck with rare spawns recently. Let's give it a try anyway and see what happens. Oh my god, oh my god, that's the tote bag. That's the goat's tote. That that was the 
Tote Goat Respawn. I didn't notice. Oh, wow. I've got a 23 slot bag. <laughs> I'm going to change the uh, 6 slot bag for a 23 slot bag. That was the Tote Goat. And I very nearly didn't attack it. I had this um, thought in my mind. Should I take it? Should I not take it? Oh, I'm so glad I decided to go for that one. Woo! 23 slot bag. But it hasn't doubled my inventory space, but it's uh, made a big difference to my inventory space. I'm going to calm down a little bit now with a bit of fishing. Oh, wow. 23 slot bag. And I very nearly decided not to take that goat. Oh, oh, oh. oh gosh, yes, I need to calm down now. Nothing like a spot of fishing to try and calm down after that excitement. Okay, he's only got half health. Is somebody attacking him? He's not targeted on anyone, so I'll go after the wasp first. Just like the wasp, he's got a yellow exclamation mark on his health bar. Um, that means he's the um, object of a quest. So there might be a quest for him somewhere. I'll leave him alone until somebody's got a quest for him. But I'll take the wasp because I've got a quest for the wasp.
first. Okay, that was painful. I've got to admit that was uh, challenging. So let's go eat something now. Managed to. I only killed him by the skin of my teeth there. Helping Henry. The roughnecks told me to clear the rocks in the forest. I didn't know they meant this. You look tough. You'll have to help me. I'll get killed if I get anywhere near that thing. I'm also super allergic to bees. Wow, he did not go down easy, given that when we attacked him he only had half health. Hate to have seen what he would have been like at full health. Thanks so much. I'm off to my next task. Oh, I want a mineral deposit, but I'm not going back after that. That was a hard bee to kill. Given that this video has actually gone on for quite a while, I think it's best just to go straight back to the Roughneck camp and turn in the quests. something first. Still gonna opportunistically grab that river bud though. For a second there, I thought I'd got away with that.
Good day to you. Got the fur? You actually did it. Tell me, how did they like it? Any of them give you the horns? <laughs> The hornet's dead? Good on you, house cat. I'd like to not die to a bug. And that's ding level 32. Do I get anything nice? Yes. Beast cleave. Beast cleave. Where's beast cleave? Let's check my... Beast cleave. Eyes of the beast. Oh, I didn't equip eyes of the beast. I should put that in there. Uh, or should I put that somewhere else? There we go. I can see through my pet. See through my pet's eyes. Don't know how useful that is, but okay. So where's Beast Cleave? Not seeing Beast Cleave. They should be in alphabetical order, so... What about under Beast Mastery? Barbed Shot, Bestial Wrath, Camouflage. No Beast Cleave. Mastery, Master of the Beasts, Pack Tactics and Wild Call. Is it one of the Beast's own abilities? Bristle... Move to no. Nope. So where is Beast Cleave? There it is. It's a passive. After you multi shot, your pet's melee attacks also strike up to five other nearby enemy targets for 75% much as they. As for the next four seconds. Okay, so that's cool. If I use multi shot, my beast can also uh, do damage to multiple pets, multiple bobs. The bears and the bees. You got more on your shirt than you got in your bottles. I'd ask you to shower, but frankly, none of us have done Don't that in weeks. <laughs> Hey, Ruff, this kid is showing some promise. You bet I do. Okay, he's asking if he's got any jobs for me, and he has. All right, Rolf, what have you got for me? Protect the nests. Now that Taggart is done with your hazing, uh, I mean trials, you can start helping us with some of the work around here. Some of the nearby griffin nests have been overrun with saralisk. I fear that the griffins will make new roosts elsewhere if we don't clean them out. Head up the road towards the uh, waterfall and take out those saralisks. Report to Sean when you're done. He posts as a lookout there. Oh, he's posted as a lookout there. Kill seven hungry dew scale. An offering of eggs. Our work isn't only to capture the tame griffins, it's also to preserve them. Because any eggs remaining in nearby abandoned nests, set them in one of the new nests we've built for the displaced griffins. I'm sure one of the griffin females will adopt them. Collect four spotted griffin eggs. Okay. Following but I don't think I want to do that today. I think I want to call it a day here. I've got the flight path here, so it's very easy to get back and do those quests later. So I'm just going to hearthstone and let's uh, see about that expert riding I got last time. Should have gone to Stormwind last time, but I went to Ironforge instead, so this time I will go to Stormwind to sort out my inventory. Finest wares and cool cherish, right here. But first let's sell my junk. Yeah. 
Is that it? No. That's my uh, six slot bag. I should put that in the bank. Anchor weed. Don't think there's anything else to get rid of. Travel safely now. Okay. Let's see. There's no Brutusol, so there is a few things. I'll take them out the mailbox, clear my mailbox. And then I'll go to Stormwind and stick these things on the auction house. And then look for the uh, mount trainer to get my expert riding. I believe you can fly. The skies call out to you. It's time to learn to fly. Visit the flying trainer, Brala Cloudwing, at the Griffin Roost in Stormwind. And don't forget to buy a flying mount. Okay. Okay, so I think the first thing I want to do is put stuff on the auction house. Get that out of my inventory, lest I forget. Oh no, that's auctions, that's the one. Okay, four gold fifty for platinum ore is actually an improvement on what it was selling for. <laughs> no way, Jose. <laughs> ten thousand gold, ten thousand gold, one hundred gold. Yeah, I'm, I suspect people will be upset with me putting it on for that little. There we go. Those are much more reasonable prices. Hopefully they'll sell. Sure would have liked to have got 10,000 gold. Now I did say I was going to look at the price of fish. Uh, six gold for great sea catfish. That's actually a good price. But there's 149 on for that price. So I'm not sure that will even sell. I'll put my fish on, and if it sells, great, and if it doesn't sell, I'll keep putting it in the bank so that I can save up to level my cooking up. Well, 75 silver. <laughs> And there's over 4,000 of them on. 23 gold for Tirigard Perch. Nobody's going to pay that. Well, let's hope that they do. <laughs> if they do, that would be very nice. If they pay those prices for the fish, I'm going to take them out of my reagent bank and I'm going to stick them on the auction house. Can always fish up more That's later. That's bound to me. Can't sell that, that's the scroll you daft bat. Okay, so anchor weed. That needs to go on. Oh seventeen golds, less than the nineteen gold it used to sell for, but okay.
Is there anything else to put on? Oh, Storm Silver, that can go on. Five gold, that's not bad. I think that's it. Briny flesh, what's that worth? Seven silver, forget that. I'll cook with that. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's everything, so I'll put whatever's left in the reagent bank. Oh, and I've got a bag as well. I need to put that bag in the bank. So let's uh, purchase that bag slot. Uh, I can purchase it for one gold. Okay. And now let's find that uh, six slot bag. There it is. And my next slot is 10 gold. Go with mm. honor, friend. So next time I get a bag, it'll cost me 10 gold to put that in my bank. Okay, now, the Stormwind Flight Master is here, and the um, Mount Trainer and Mount Vendor is right next to the Flight Master, so... She'll be over here. Hello. Ah, good to see you. You look like you're ready to take to the skies. Remember, you can buy a flying mount from Tamika Stonebreak. Keep your feet on the ground. There. Welcome. Oh, I didn't pick up my journeyman riding. Oh, that would have given me a hundred percent mount speed. Not to worry. I missed that somewhere along the way. So. so each new set of mounts is uh, mount trading is more expensive. This is 237 gold, but my next one is 4,750 gold, and I've only got about 2,000. I've only got 2,552 gold after I bought that. Yeah, so I definitely need to get more distracted <laughs> with the fishing schools and the. Um, mining and the herbalism, if I'm going to get that much gold. Okay. Great to meet you. Tannic Stonebeak. Okay, and so those are the flying mounts I could buy, and the amounts that they'd be for. But I already know them, because I've already Great got them. Travels. Once you've got them on one alt, they're available for all your alts, and because I've got an alt that's got them, it's already available to me. So we'll pretend that I've just bought it. Uh, what? Uh, Armoured Snowy Griffin, that'll do. I think that was one of the ones that I could have picked up. I might be wrong, but a griffin's a griffin, so. And I'll put my Alec there. So I've got both my ground mount and my flying mount. And now I take to the skies. Yay! I can fly. I can finally fly. Oh, the game just got so much easier now. Okay, there's nothing in my mailbox, so I think I'll call it a day here. So from me, Big Fat Hairy Gamer, have a good one.